Hey, it's Blake, and we're out here at the property. We're going to process the cassavas. As you know, the root's called yucca. And as you can see, they can be grown in North Florida. So if you want to try to grow one, get you some cuttings. You take the cuttings from the stalk. So these are actually making flowers. But in the next month, we'll start having some cooler, cooler weather. So I wanted to go ahead and just start processing these. But you might could grow them from seed, but I've always heard you grow them by the cuttings. See the little flowers? We'll just make this chop and drop. So you can see where I'm getting at, and then I'll leave about a foot or so from the ground, and then we'll process them another day. All right, you ready for this? I'm about to yank it up. I, I, moved, I was able to move enough dirt back. All right. Whoa! Oh man, I broke it, but look at that! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! That is crazy! Yeah, I gotta get a picture of this. Alright, I'll come back to you. Hey everybody, it's Blake from Blake's Nature Life. So we're back at the property, and we're gonna finish pulling up the cassava and harvest the yucca that's in the ground. So remember, it's been about a year and a half when I planted and then I let it go through one winter and then now I'm trying to pull up the last two. Now I could have pulled them up earlier, but you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull them up instead of leave them in the ground more because if you leave the root in the ground way too long, the roots are gonna get very fibrous. And I had that happen on just two of them that came off the same root. So let's just go ahead and get this up. I almost need two hands. Ugh. We got we got a good one right there. So them are tender or small, but hey, they're gonna be soft. I would have waited longer. So I'm gonna do another video next time. You should be planting these cuttings in the ground sideways. I did them straight in the ground. See that's what happens. So I'll do a video on, on uh, prepping the ground soon. I'll keep these cutties in the greenhouse, keep them a little bit moist. So let's set this over there. Yeah, look at that. I'll harvest that, peel it, put it in the, the freezer. Let's stick it over here and we'll cut that. I wanted to get this video uploaded because this is pretty cool. I'm growing it in a temperate climate so it's possible. You see we had one night in the 30s and it had a little bit of frost damage. But I would recommend have already cut this back if you planted this the first season. Because it needs to be in the ground at least 8 to 9 months in a warm climate. And here we only get about 6 or so warmer months and then some in the winter. So you know what, this one I'm going to pull with both hands. Let me see if I can clear some of these weeds. I got to... I know they got weeds, but I've got tons of uh, sweet potato vines growing in here as a ground cover. So when I get the beds ready, I can use the my pitchfork and pull up sweet potatoes. What we got. You ready? Got to hold on. Let me move this up. Now sometimes you got to make a noise. You know, sometimes you got to make a noise. Sometimes you got to hang on. Let me get this right. Sometimes you gotta make a noise so you can get the abs tight. We're about to do a cassava yucca deadlift. You ready for this? Woo! You ready? I'm gonna get my head between here and make it extra. All right, you ready? Huh. Uh. Yeah, look at that. See, I didn't realize this one actually is decent. Look at that. And this one I actually planted later in the months because the first one I did is in the beginning uh, cassava that I shown you that I pulled up that was planted right in spring this was cuttings from that one so late summer and I let this go through the winter so remember don't let anyone say you can't grow something because if you put the hard work in if you give it what it needs you prep it for the winter this is what you can have happen now don't get me wrong, also grow your native plants, beneficial berries, 
trees for the native wildlife in your area, but also grow out of the box. Just push yourself to prove that anything's possible. And this is what this channel is for, proving that anything's possible, no matter where you're at. All right, until next time, we'll catch you later. Hey, subscribe to my channel. If you have not yet, hit the bell, and let's keep on going together. All right, until next time, check that out. You good tonight? <laughs> All right.